वेलकम टू जोलॉजिस्ट मोसिन यूट्यूब चैनल वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स ऑन बर्ड्स होपफुली वी शेल कवर ऑल द एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ बर्ड्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू देयर बॉडी सिस्टम्स एज वेल एज देयर मॉर्फोलॉजी बेस्ड ऑन द एकेडमिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ड्यूरिंग एग्जाम्स और एज वेल एज नॉलेज इंक्रीज टूडे we shall discuss about feathers feathers are very important to understand because flight is the only unique and salient feature of birds to understand flight we must understand feathers today's lecture include difference between feather and wing structure of feather and types of feathers before starting lecture please give us a little favor click the subscribe button as well as bell icon so that you may receive the latest notification of our channel and as early as possible you may learn let's start difference between feather and wing feathers are fluffy structures attached to wings made up of keratin while wings are modified four limbs for flight made of bones and muscles so you must clear in your mind that feathers are the fluffy structure while bones and muscles which are basically four limbs are wings next uh, structure here is a typical example of a feather on the screen feathers are made up of keratin as in nails or hairs in your body calamus is the smooth base extend under skin here is the calamus please uh, remember these structures long central rod structure is rachis here is the long rod rachis branches originate from rachis are barbs these are the sub branches of rachis barbs are further branched into barbules barbules further have hooklets called hemule or barbicels in this diagram you may observe that rachis is uh, divided into bar barbs and barbs are further subdivided or sub branched into barbules each barbule has small hooklets hooklets can be uh, seen at the yellow circles that you may observe these hooklets uh, provide uh, entangling when 90 angles barbules criss cross each other hooks hold them together and when these way feathers will flap in the air air will not pass from them and it will provide more buoyancy more efficiency to flight than without hooklets so to understand the function of hooklets you must focus this diagram at base the unhooked bars are downy bars so these are the basic structures present in a feather calamus rachis barbs barbules hooklets and downy barbs hope you have got the point feathers having hooklets and barbules are called as panaceous this is the basic term uh, asked in very exams feather without hooklets and barbules are plumaceous just like a plume tracts of feathers on skin are called terilli while area of skin without feathers is called epteria in this diagram you can see the dots these dots are basically points of attachment of feathers and you can also observe the pattern of these dots this pattern are the tracts of feathers attached to the skin and they are terilli while the smooth area without dots is called as epteria now types of feathers number 1 contour feathers contour feathers <clears throat> cover the whole body other than flight feathers now we shall discuss later what are flight feathers give characteristic shape to birds provide thermoregulation streamlining during flight as well have role in social displays here the tick marks uh, are represents uh, contour feathers <clears throat> present on all around the body and the basic shape basic uh, look of the organism or bird is due to these contour feathers next one is flight feathers tail and wing feathers are flight feathers anterior part of these wings or these feathers is thinner while posterior part is thicker so they are asymmetrical strongest and 
largest feathers you may also call them as hardest ramages originate from wing bones while rectrices are present in tail these are the two names given to tail feathers as well as wing feathers both are flight feathers ramages and rectrices ramages may be primaries primaries mean they may range uh, from 9 to 12 and uh, please remember that primaries are the feathers which are closest to the body as far as we move away from the body in a wing secondaries then tertiaries secondaries may vary from 8 to 32 in number while tertiaries vary in different species so primaries secondaries and tertiaries are different uh, rows of different lines of uh, different portions of the feather rectrices or tail feathers range normally from 8 to 32 these numbers are very important to remember with respect to exams next type is down feathers soft and fluffy three types natural down nettle down sorry body down powder down nettle down are present on hatchling's body you can see the diagram in the uh, chicken body down lies under contour feathers while powder down disintegrate at tips to produce keratinous powder that is the main salient feature of the powder down keratinous powder their tips are disintegrated which uh, create a powdery uh, substance and these powdery substances are used for uh, waterproofing by birds especially pigeons provide thermal regulation and waterproofing as well next type is uh, philoplume feathers hair like and smallest of all feathers have rakes but no barbs you can observe few barbs at the tips have sensory receptors near the skin at base these sensory receptors help in detection of changes in feathers whether the feathers are low in number or they are enlarged time to uh, break them etc etc next type is semi plumules feathers semi plumule feathers are intermediate between contour and down feathers lack hocklets so semi plumaceous present at edges of contour feathers provide help to down feathers in insulation next type is bristle feathers bristle feathers are stiff rakes lack barbs present on head of birds mostly rectal bristles are most common which extend at beak base in uh, fledgling birds it is observed mostly hope you have learned something our upcoming is uh, digestive system of birds with very impressive and marvelous diagrams and animations inshallah you will learn more up, uh, when you will work uh, at last it is requested that please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon as well so that you may receive the latest notifications thanks for watching wait for the next